Hours after the storm hit, the Little Sioux campground in western Iowa was still littered with downed trees, destroyed buildings, and crumpled tents covered in broken limbs. Four Boy Scouts died here when a tornado ripped through the area with little warning. It felt like I was getting shot at, but it was just rocks, dirt, grass, trees. Everything. Our ears are popping. Video of the twister was caught by an amateur photographer. The scouts were in two groups when the storm moved through. One group was hiking. Another was able to get to shelter. And then the door blew up and they were like, get under the tables, get under the tables, get under the tables. So we got under there. I pulled one of my friend underneath me and then all of a sudden it just took the building. One scout had to dive into a ditch for safety. It was like raining like hard, like normal rain and then all the, the wind got sucked out of my lungs and then uh, it started blowing so hard I couldn't stand up. When the storm passed, he ran to scouts who were down. Then I grabbed a first aid kit and ran up to where the, the one that all the kids are um, like, like not alive, dead. Dozens of others were hospitalized, including the park ranger and his family who were rushed to this local hospital. 20 scouts were released from here Thursday. Authorities say it could have been worse if the scouts hadn't acted so quickly. Many rushed to give first aid to their injured friends, something they were trained to do. And that's what these young leaders uh, have learned how to do is to take care of each other, uh, especially those in need. Uh, and they uh, were the real heroes, these young men. Three of the scouts who died were 13 years old. The fourth was 14. The tornado was part of a storm system that also caused damage in Kansas and added to the area's existing flood problem. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Onawa, Iowa.